this is my personal keyboard. I've had it close to 10 years. It is a Kinesis Advantage keyboard, and I'm going to walk you through the keyboard and what makes it so special. So first of all, as you can see, it's a split keyboard. So you have two keyboard wells, one on the right and one on the left. What you see here are, these are keys that you use a lot. Control, control, see that's duplicated. Control, left and right all to left and right. In this case, I actually have the Windows key here. You can remap these keys how you want. You have a backspace on the left, space on the right, delete on the left, enter on the right, page up and page down right here, home and end here. So these are keys that you're gonna be using a lot when you're typing, programming, whatever it is. So they are, the logic here is that you're using your stronger finger, your thumbs, instead of using a weaker finger. The whole idea here is comfort and the ability for you to be able to type quickly and for long periods of time without having any problems. So that's gonna require you to be efficient in terms of how you're typing. If you're using a small finger, your weakest finger here all the time and you're stretching it in all kinds of awkward positions, you know, I gotta reach over here and reach over there, that's where you're gonna run into pain and discomfort. So the idea here is to eliminate a lot of that stuff and there's a lot of things that are done to facilitate that. So number one, again, most popular keys are here using your thumbs instead of your smaller, weaker fingers. Additionally, again, you have two keyboard wells. Now, why do you have that? There's a couple of things that you're solving here. In a normal, so-called so normal keyboard, and I actually consider this to really be, I shouldn't say a normal keyboard, but this is a human keyboard. Sometimes people look at this and they're like, oh, that looks kind of weird, blah, 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 because it's unfamiliar. But actually it is familiar because number one, if you were to just be in a neutral position sitting in your chair, your arms are naturally to your side, right? Shoulder, shoulder lengths apart. That's where, that's where your arms are. See where my hands are? I'm not putting myself in a typing position. This is just normal, a shoulder length apart. And if I reach out my hands just in front of me, again, I'm not putting them into where the keyboard is and all kinds of weird stuff. This is just naturally. My hands, where they're naturally positioned on my body, just reaching out. And what do you know? My right keyboard well is meeting my right hand. My left keyboard well is meeting my left hand. So I don't have to go into position. So what is it? why does this matter? Because in a keyboard that, that you're probably using right now, you have to bring your hands closer together because all the keys are together, correct? So what you're doing is you're creating stress on your wrists and your shoulders and all that kind of stuff because you have to bring your hands into a natural position. Your hands are not normally together like this, right? That's not your normal position. They're normally, again, shoulder width apart. So with a normal keyboard doing this, you're creating tension. Now, for short periods of time, not a big deal if you, if you don't type that much and you exercise a lot or whatever the situation is, you could be fine doing typing like this. But for those of us that type a lot and we have problems, typing like this is very uncomfortable. I can, I can feel it right now. Right now, there, there's stress right now. There's tension on my wrist right now. And not that I'm, I'm uncomfortable, but I can see after a while of being like this, I'm gonna have some problems. And by the way, before I got this keyboard, I was typing on those weird keyboards that, you know, it's the norm that, that you were probably typing on. And I was having, you know, pain in my wrist and numbness. And, you know, I could have had a permanent disability, uh, you know, carpal tunnel syndrome. If I didn't find a solution, I could have had some serious problems. This keyboard eliminates that. Instead of stretching like this, you have your hands in a natural position. Now beyond that, again, this keyboard is designed for humans unlike the normal robot keyboard that you're probably using. Humans do not have fingers that are equal length, right? That's not normal. We normally have fingers that are, you have a longer finger here, shorter, and then shorter still, correct? That's why this keyboard well is designed the way it is. The key here and the key here are the deepest, the deepest in the well, furthest away from your finger. So you have your longest finger that can go deep down into the keyboard well and meet that key. Now your next two fingers are a little bit shorter, right? So therefore these keys are curved upwards to meet that finger as well. So basically the way this keyboard well is positioned or, or, or set up, it matches how your fingers are. So it curves, it curves up to your shorter finger and, and deep down into your longer finger. This is what you do in, in, in a so-called normal keyboard, right? The keyboard that you're using right now is you have to kind of contort your fingers to kind of make them, them flat because the keyboard is designed for flat fingers where your fingers are, are equal length. Now I'm sure your fingers are not like that. Your fingers are different lengths. So therefore it's more natural and more comfortable to have a keyboard that's designed for the length of your fingers. Now the other thing that is here 
is that this is a vertical keyboard. It's a vertical layout. So you see how the keys are in a vertical layout, right? So what that allows me to do is to actually type faster. I, th I think at my fastest I've typed on this is about 80 to 90 words per minute. I've never been that fast on a normal keyboard. So if you need to type really fast, then this is definitely a keyboard you want to consider because it's all about efficiency and with that efficiency comes the ability to potentially type faster and also more comfortably. So you have the keys that are again curved to meet your fingers. You have a vertical layout so you're not going sideways and, and stretching over I gotta meet that key. Everything's vertical. So I can go from you know J to U, go up to I, go up to O, go up to P. So I'm just going up and down, up and down up and down and I want to go down so that's all I'm doing so for this row I go up to U down to M if I want to go Y minimal stretching over to the Y it's curved to meet my finger again remember this is curved right so I don't have to stretch it as I as I would normally have to this is a flat keyboard so again efficiency curves to meet my finger stretch over to Y that's not really a stretch at all nice and easy to get over there I can go over to the H nice and easy go over to the N nice and easy and then those that's the most stretching you're really going to ever do except for the number keys of course because the rest of them is just going up to U, going down to M, in the middle up to I, down to this uh, bracket there so everything is just up and down, up and down. So most of your typing is just so efficient the keys are, are really close together as well so all this is allowing you for more comfort and more speed as well and of course these keys are here so you can always reach them so I'm gonna actually type some stuff up on this keyboard so you can actually see the keyboard in action so I'm just going to I guess I can type what I'm what I'm actually saying so now I am typing what I am saying to you and you can see that I'm not typing as fast as I could if I was not talking to you <laughs> while making this video. So another thing about it while I'm thinking while I'm typing is the amount of pressure required to press these keys is uh, at such a low level that again it's all about efficiency. The more strength required to press the keys the less you're going to be able to type on the keyboard, right? Because how long can you type on the keyboard before you get into problems and being uncomfortable? That's going to factor into how much muscle that you're using to press the keys, how much stretching you're doing, how comfortable you are in terms of how you're positioned. So all that stuff really matters. Now, another thing to consider is this is much smaller. You have some ergonomic keyboards that are much they're wide. They're taking up the whole desk. This is a very, very short and compact keyboard just because of the way it's laid out. One of the reasons for that is an integrated keypad. The keypad is actually right here. So if I want to type in numbers, all I have to do is I actually, t I actually press on keypad and now this is a normal keypad just like you'd have on a normal keyboard so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you have the num lock and all that kind of stuff up there so all this is the normal keypad so if I want to type in numbers 123 times da, 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 whatever whatever and when I'm done I press keypad and now I'm back to normal and also when you press keypad you have lights here so it tells you keypad caps lock and all that kind of stuff is indicated there so those are some of the basic features here. You have the nice uh, uh, palm rest here, which I just changed mine after no, uh, almost 10 years. So pretty good usage out of this. And again, to have a keyboard close to 10 years, man, I think that says a lot about the quality of this keyboard. This keyboard is not cheap. It runs you about 300 to, I think, 325 for another model. It does come with a 60-day guarantee. And again, remember, this is my keyboard that I've bought. I've had it close to 10 years. So this is not a paid endorsement or anything like that. This is the real deal. This is my personal keyboard. I, I've used all over the place, different companies that I've worked at and, and stuff like that. I've always carried this keyboard with me. I just got a new one, a, a Bluetooth keyboard, which I'm going to be doing a review on that one as well to, to show you. Now, one of the things I want to mention is, again, when I bought this keyboard, I was having problems with my wrist. I was having numbness and all, all the early signs of carpal tunnel th syndrome. When I got the keyboard, it took me a little bit, when I say a little bit, I don't know, maybe a week or two before the pain went away. I think, I think initially when I first started typing, it was definitely doable as opposed to a normal keyboard. It was really uncomfortable for me, but it was still a little bit of discomfort. It took about maybe a week or two before the, the discomfort went away completely, and I've been using it ever since. Again, going on 10 years or, or, or actually possibly more, and I'm fine. 
I type a lot. I'm on the keyboard a lot. I'm on the computer a lot. So, you know, the fact that I've lasted so long and I really don't have any problems. Um, sometimes I may have some problems with, with the mouse. And notice I'm using a vertical mouse here. So I'll do a, a review on this in the future. This is actually a, a, a mouse by Evo, Evoluent. Evoluent, I think it's called. Now, Kinesis actually makes their own type of vertical mouse. So the fact that I'm, I'm actually telling you about the mouse that I have, which is actually from another company, that's just to let you know. You know, it's not a paid endorsement here. I don't think uh, Kinesis would want me talking about somebody else's mouse, you know, when they have their own mouse that they provide. But this is my, this is my mouse here. It's a vertical mouse. You can see it's a three button mouse. You got three, three buttons there and a, and a mouse wheel. You've also got another button here as well. Now, another advantage of the fact that this keyboard is so short and so compact. Now, normally with, with, with normal keyboards and some of those ergonomic keyboards are so wide that, you know, you're typing like this and then you're like over here for the mouse and, and that's stretching. So you're typing like this and you're stretching over the mouse, stretching over the mouse, stretching over the mouse. And that's uncomfortable after a period of time. Here, it's a small movement from here to there, here to there, here to there. All about efficiency all about efficiency. Additionally, you do have some advanced functions on this keyboard. There's a macro function, which is really, really, really cool. So for example, what I can do is I can press um, program macro. So I hold down the program key and then press macro. I got flashing lights here. Now I have to designate what the trigger is going to be for the macro. So I can say, for example, control G. So I want a macro that's triggered by control G. And with this macro, I can say, whenever I press Control G, I want you to do this. Type in, thank you for your help, period. And um, shift home and Control C and Control tab or alt tab and Control V. Then when I'm done with my macro, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go program macro. And that's it. It's that easy and that simple. So now I have this keyboard shortcut that whenever I want to do that, I can simply wherever I am, whatever program I am in, because it's in the keyboard. Let's think about this thing. This thing is all in the keyboard. It's not something where you've got special drivers and all this kind of stuff. So everything's in a keyboard. So it doesn't matter what program I'm in or whatever it is. At any point in time, I go and hit Control G. Boom. It just did exactly what, what I told it to do. Typed in the text with the period and then copied and pasted it. Everything I just said was automatically done. And you can do a whole bunch of macros in this keyboard. I believe it is, depending on how you have it set up, you have 24, 36, or 48 macros of up to 56 characters each. So that's pretty cool. So that's a lot of macros that you can store in the keyboard and you can trigger at any point in time. Maybe you're in sales and you have to do a lot of generic stuff that you're saying all the time, certain questions or certain uh, signatures for your email, whatever it is, you can program it right into the keyboard and it's in the keyboard. So any computer you plug this into, your macros are gonna be available to you. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, I've used this for a lot of different things. Sometimes uh, there's certain programs that I use that have a complex uh, you, you know, sequence that I have to do all the time. Let's put it in the keyboard. And depending on the environment, the level of security, you may want to even put passwords in here, potentially. I mean, that's obviously potentially a risk, so it really depends on the security level and, and, and things like that. But that's pretty much it. I think I've covered most of the details of the keyboard. And um, additionally, other things to consider is, which I think the final thing that I didn't mention is also the angle that this has your hands in is optimal angle in terms of how you're, like if I turn my hand like this so you can see, the way my hand position is, it's in a very comfortable position. It's neutral. You can see going straight along here, there isn't uh, you know, stress in my hand like that. Some keyboards actually have this ability with the legs uh, at the bottom here where you can kind of raise the keyboard up. That's a bad thing because now when you do that, you're putting more stress on the wrist. You want to be as neutral as possible. You want to be in that handshake position. That's the way you want to be while you're typing. And as you can see, when I'm on this keyboard, you can see this is the position my hand is in. Very, very neutral, very, very comfortable very, very natural position. So this is gonna be a very comfortable position to be in. It's gonna allow you to type very quickly, very efficiently, and very comfortably on the Kinesis Advantage keyboard.